happen and, and life life goes on not for you obviously you're you're dead but uh, it reminds me of a time I was I was having a conversation with my friend Orville we were uh, where were we I think we were by the we the, the river we were sitting by the river and watching the fish leap over the falls and uh, I said to Orville you know, sometimes I feel like a fish leaping over and over again, always trying to get somewhere. Well, I don't know where, only to find myself in the jaws of a beast. He, of course, looked at me surprised, you know? Have you been in the jaws of a beast, friend? To which I said, no, of course not. Or I said, no, 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 no. I simply meant that life can seem like a relentless endeavor to overcome meaningless obstacles, only to meet an equally meaningless fate, regardless of your efforts, regardless of the obstacles you've passed. <laughs> you stood and proceeded to drape me with a picnic cloth, to which I, I, I asked him, I said, Friend, what, what are you doing? He looked at me very concerned, really. I feel like you've gotten too much sun. Indeed, <laughs> indeed I have. He proceeded to pour me a glass of ice cold lemon. You ever mix it with iced tea? Do you like a little half lemonade, half oh, it's so you should try it some well you can't because you're dead. But anyways, so you may be asking yourself, how did I go from sitting by the falls and drinking lemonade to being wedged in the air duct? Not only with Orville, but with an entire assortment of fruity colored friends. Well, there's uh there's really no good answer to that, but Perhaps I met a demise of my own at some point, and this is my afterlife, or my dream, whatever it might mean, I, I honestly don't know.